Okay. Going home. A Facebook friend recently posted a picture of some very nice shoes and then she commented that she wore her new shoes to work and that by the end of the day they were torn. And a comment from another one of her friends was, it wasn't me. That might not make sense to some people, but in our Hispanic culture, we have this belief that we call mal de ojo. There's no English equivalent to the phrase, even though I've heard some people describe it as the evil eye, but there's really no literal translation that really grasps the concept. I say that it's part of our Hispanic culture, but I have also heard about it in other cultures. I have heard different terms to describe the same concept in Hebrew, in Urdu, in Italian. So it's not unique to Hispanics, even though there's a little bit of a variation in each of the beliefs. The Mexican belief is basically that if somebody sees something that they really like, they should touch it to avoid anything bad happening to it. And there are some people who, that are particularly gifted or cursed, whatever the case may be, with this ability. And I have known several people throughout my life that have the reputation of giving mal de ojo. And so whenever they compliment something, the people usually say, please touch it. Whether it's a shirt or shoes or even a baby. In my family, we were not raised with a great belief in mal de ojo. But once in a while, when my brother or my sister would get sick for no reason, my grandmother would use an egg to pray over them. And there's a whole ritual that goes along with it. And then at the end, you break the egg and you put it in a glass of water. And that somehow is supposed to break the mal de ojo. Recently, during morning duty, I was wearing a costume for a special celebration. And a grandmother was walking by and she said, you look so cute in that costume, I have to touch it. And I said, please, please do. I don't want anything bad to happen to me. Like I said, in my family, we were not raised very strongly in that belief. And as far as I know, nobody in my family has that ability. But I do have some friends that have the reputation of giving very bad mal de ojo or evil eye. But like I said, that really doesn't grasp the concept of what mal de ojo is. A few years ago, I was at a festival with a friend of mine who has the reputation of giving mal de ojo. And we're sitting waiting for our turn to perform. And another friend walked by on her way to perform with her group, wearing a very nice dress. And my friend who was sitting next to me said, I have to touch her dress because it's very nice. And even though I do not believe in it very strongly, I did start to get worried about my friend and I started looking for her to make sure that her dress was touched. So our turn came to perform and we went out into the field to perform and I kept looking for my friend, worried about it. I wanted to make sure that she did not leave without her dress being touched. So after we finished performing, I texted her and I asked her, where are you? I'm looking for you. And she texted back, you didn't see me? I got sick right in the middle of the field all over their brand new AstroTurf. And I asked, what do you mean? She said, you didn't see me, they had to carry me out and take me home because I got so sick. So I told her, I don't want to put bad thoughts into your mind, but I think it was my other friend's fault because she really admired your dress and she didn't touch it soon enough. And she has a reputation of giving real bad mal de ojo. I think you should find somebody to cure you of mal de ojo. Well, I don't think she ever did because she doesn't believe in those things but she was out sick for three days without really understanding what was wrong. So even though I was raised not believing very strongly in this, but I know that somebody has this particular talent and they admire something that I'm wearing, just ask them to touch it. Why take any chances? My goodness.